When it comes to service of process uh, of a lawsuit, there's a couple of things that you should know. This will cover 95, 98% of all service. And there's some confusion and some myths about service. Number one, personal service, that's where they give it to you. And that can be done anywhere. They can personally serve you at Walmart, on the street. Uh, it doesn't have to be your home, it doesn't have to be at work. And give it to you doesn't mean they have to actually hand it to you. Uh, if they drop it in your presence, you've been served. So if you answer the door, but refuse to take the document, they can drop it at the threshold and you've been served. And that's personal service. The next thing about which there's a lot of confusion is substitute service. And as the name implies, um, they can serve a substitute in certain situations. First, they have to try to serve you personally. They have to make several efforts to do that. They have to fill out a declaration of due diligence to the court that says that they tried to serve you personally. They have to identify the time and the location that they tried to do that. So they'll fill out an affidavit that says they went to your house or your work uh, at these dates and times and they were unsuccessful in serving you. Either no one answered the door or someone answered the door and it wasn't you. After they do that, as long as they've gone to your home or work, they then can give it to the substitute. The person has to be at least, appear to be at least 18 years of age. They have to provide a description. Um, white male, um, 60 years old, 200 pounds, whatever it may be. And then they must also mail it to you. And you actually have 40 days from the date that they mail it to you. If they do that, that is valid service. Important thing is it has to go to your home, has to go to your work. So if they're going to the wrong address or going to an old home address or where you no longer work, it's not valid. However, the court won't know it's not valid unless you tell them. So you can't on any of these services just assume it wasn't done correctly. You have to tell the court it wasn't done correctly. The court will assume that the service of process was accurate unless you tell them it's not. Again, that covers about 95% of all service. There is other types of service, service to your post office box, which I'll go through in a different video. Same with, uh, you can be served by publication. They can get a court order that they serve you in the newspaper. So, uh, but most importantly, understand about service and don't ignore it. Do not assume that you haven't been served correctly and therefore you have to do nothing. Assume the opposite. Assume that the other side is telling the judge that you were served correctly. Assume the judge is going to buy that and assume that if you do nothing, a judgment will be entered against you.